Today on MTG Unpacked, it's Secret Lair time again. We're getting stuck into the Secret Lair Commander deck, raining cats and dogs. Alright, so let's see what we got here. 100 card deck, 5 traditional foil reversible cards and so forth. Okay, so let's get into this. This just went on sale under a week ago, actually. And uh, that was January 22nd, 2024. Going for 49, or oh, not 49, 149. 99 US, so a little bit on the pricey side. We get a nice box here, and it actually sold out in less than six hours. So they are doing one time printing now, they're not having them on sale as they did previously for a long time. So you've got to jump in and grab it as soon as you can. So this one, so we're going up to 40 here. We've got the cats. And then the dogs, okay. So there is our life counter. And what is this about? We've got a flyer here. Okay, just a poster. Cats and dogs, which team are you on? You can probably tell from the playmat which one I am on. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's get into the deck itself. So we will be taking a deep dive into this one, really. Finding out what makes it tick. And I think there, at time of filming, there is more value in here than the cost of the deck. But I'm sure the prices will drop in the coming days. So let's separate things out here. Uh, we have our lands. Pop those aside. Okay, looks like I nearly spoiled some stuff, some bonus cards there. So let's take a look at what this deck is about. So starting off we have Rin and Seri Inseparable. Nice. Okay, so this is a mythic legendary creature dog cat. 4-4 four, four for 1 red, green and white. Whenever you cast a dog spell, create a 1-1 one, one green cat creature token. And whenever you cast a cat spell, create a 1-1 one, one white dog creature token. And for red, green and white... Tap Ren and Seri Inseparable deals damage to any target equal to the number of dogs you control. You gain life equal to the number of cats you control. And then on the other side here, we've got the same thing basically. So different artwork though. So cats versus dogs, depending on which one you want. And this is a thick display commander, so you would not be shuffling that into your deck. Just purely for display. Next up we have Jetmir, Nexus of Rebels, another mythic legendary creature, Cat Demon 5-4 for 1, red, green, and white. Creatures you control get plus 1, plus 0, and have vigilance as long as you control 3 or more creatures. Creatures you control also get plus 1, plus 0, and have trample as long as you control 6 or more creatures. And creatures you control also get plus 1, plus 0, and have double strike as long as you control Nine or more creatures. I like the flavor on that one. Okay, on the other side, so this is also a thick card. So here you've got the dog side of the card. All right, so two commanders there. The next one is Ginny Faye Jetmere's second legendary creature elf druid. 3-3 three, three for either red, green, uh, green, and either green or white. If you would create one or more tokens, you may instead create that many 2-2 green cat creature tokens with haste, or that many 3-1 green dog creature tokens with vigilance. Alright, so on the other side, here we have the cats. Alright, nice to see different artwork there, that's also a thick card. We've got a foil Rin and Seri Inseparable. Okay, and then the other side here. So these are the regular versions. Here we have Jetmere, just regular cards. There's the other side of that one. Ginny Fay, flipping it into Ginny Fay again. So take your pick. Oh, Anointed Procession. Nice reprint. Enchantment for three and a white. If an effect would create one or more tokens under your control, it creates twice that many of those tokens instead. 
Double the slobber, double the love. Okay, so there's the dogs. And on the other side, we got the cats. The cuteness is unbearable. Okay, so four foils there. And soul ring. Artifact for one. Everybody knows this one. Tap to add two colorless. What a pretty bauble, thought the cat extending her paw. Such beauty belongs on the floor. And if you're a cat owner, you know exactly how that works. And then the dogs on the other side. Drop it. Drop it. So he's taken off with his soul ring. Okay, so there's our five foils. The rest of the deck here we have arms. Collect a creature, cat cleric, three, four, for three and a white with flash. If an opponent would draw two or more cards instead, you and that player each draw a card. And I think we're on to the regular single-sided cards now. All right, next we have Dusk Till Dawn Sorcery for two and two white. Destroy all creatures with power three or greater. And the Dawn Portion Sorcery for three and two white has Aftermath. Cast this spell only from your graveyard, then exile it. Return all creature cards with power two or less from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, and then we have Felidar Retreat. This one had to be in here, didn't it? Enchantment for three and a white has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Create a 2-2 white cat beast creature token or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. Those creatures gain vigilance until end of turn. Ooh, and a mythic High Cliff Felidar. Creature cat beast 5-5 five, five for five and two white with vigilance. When it enters the battlefield for each opponent, choose a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls, destroy those creatures. Okay, so some nice removal there. Another mythic, Giselle Gold Goldmane. Legendary creature, Cat Warrior 4-4 four, four for 2 and 2 white with first strike for 3 and 2 white. Attacking creatures you control get plus X, plus X into end of turn where X is the number of attacking creatures. So you can boof, beef up your squad there. We've got a Lion Sash, Artifact Creature Equipment Cat. 1-1 one, one for 1 and white, and for a white, exile target card from a graveyard if it was a permanent card. Put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on Lion Sash, and a quick creature gets plus 1, plus 1 for each, plus 1, plus 1 counter on Lion Sash. Also has Reconfigure 2, so for 2, attach to target creature you control, or unattached from a creature, reconfigure only as a sorcery. While attached, this isn't a creature, so that one's from Kamigawa Neon Dynasty. We've got Loyal Warhound, Creature Dog 1 and a White, Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, if an opponent controls more lands than you, search your library for a basic planes card, put it onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. We've got the Pack Leader, Creature Dog 2-2 two, two for 1 and a White. Other dogs you control get plus 1, plus 1. Whenever Pack Leader attacks, prevent all combat damage that will be dealt this turn to dogs you control. And Regal Caracal, another one from Armand Cat. Creature cat, 3-3 three, three for 3 and 2 white. Other cats you control get plus 1, plus 1 and have lifelink. And when Regal Caracal enters battlefield, create 2 one, one white cat creature tokens with lifelink. And a Sky Hunter Strike Force, creature cat knight, 2-2 two, two for 2 and white, has flying and melee. Whenever this creature attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 1 on 2 end of turn for each opponent you attack this combat. Also has Lieutenant. As long as you control your commander, other creatures you control have melee. Okay, that's a nice benefit there. Stalking Leonin. Creature Cat Archer. 3-3 three, three for 2 and a white. When it enters the battlefield, secretly choose an opponent. Reveal the player you chose. You get to exile target creature that's attacking you. If it's controlled by the chosen player, activate this ability only once. And we have... To Kazia's Welcome Enchantment for 2 and a white. Whenever one or more creatures with mana value 3 or less enter the battlefield under your control, draw a card. And I think we have a ton of those in this deck. This ability triggers only once each turn. And Cursed Mirror Artifact for 2 and a red. Tap to add red. And as it enters the battlefield, you may have it become a copy of any creature on the battlefield until end of turn. Except it has haste. And Kumenu Battle Armor. Awesome. Artifact creature. Equipment dog. 2-2 two, two for 2 and a red. With menace. Equipped creature gets plus 2, plus 2 and has menace. And whenever it or equipped creature deals combat damage to a player, go to each creature that player controls. And you can reconfigure 4 on this one. We've got a Feline Sovereign. Creature cat. 2-3 two, for 2 and a green. Other cats you control get plus 1, plus 1 and have protection 
from dogs. Whenever one or more cats you control deal combat damage to a player, destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. That'd be fun, I think, to try like this deck against itself. You'd have like cats versus dogs and vice versa. Hungry Lynx, we actually pulled this one the other day. Creature Cat, 2-2 two, two for 1 and a green. Cats you control have protection from rats. They can't be blocked, targeted, or dealt damage by rats. And at the beginning of your end step, target opponent creates a 1-1 one, one black rat creature token with death touch. Whenever a rat dies, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each cat you control. I like the flavor on that one as well. Quasali Slingers, we have a creature cat warrior 3-5 for 4 and a green with reach. Whenever it or another cat enters the battlefield under your control, you may destroy target artifact or enchantment. And Realm Walker, creature shapeshifter 2-3 for 2 and a green. Has Changeling, this card is every creature type, which means it is a cat dog or dog cat. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type. You may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. And Return of the Wild Speaker, instant for four and a green, choose one. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control, or non-human creatures you control get plus three, plus three until end of turn. And another mythic, Kit Canto Mayhem Diva. Legendary creature, Cat Bard Druid, three, three for one, red, green, and white. When it enters battlefield, create a one, one, green, and white citizen creature token. And at the beginning of combat on each player's turn, you may tap two untapped creatures you control. Whenever you do target, creature that player controls gets plus two, plus two, and gains trample until end of turn. Goad that creature. And Marizi, Breaker of the Coil, another mythic. Legendary creature, Cat Warrior, 5-4 for one, red, green, and white. Your opponents can't cast spells during combat, and whenever a creature you control does combat damage to a player, goad each creature that player controls. So if you're not familiar with goading, until your next turn, those creatures attack each combat if able, and attack a player other than you if able. Fabine, boss is confident, and I'm noticing a bunch here from Streets of New Capenna. They did have a ton of cats in that set. Legendary creature, cat advisor, 3-6 for 3, red, green, and white. Creature tokens you control have haste. As Parley, at the beginning of combat on your turn, each player reveals the top card of their library. For each land card revealed this way, you create a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen creature token. Then creatures you control get plus 1, plus 1, and 2 end of turn for each non-land card revealed this way. Then each player draws a card. So another mythic. We have Showdown of the Skulls Enchantment Saga, 2 red and white. So as this saga enters and after your draw step, add a law counter sucker after 3 on the first turn. Exile the top 4 cards of your library until the end of your next turn. You may play those cards. On these second and third turns, whenever you cast a spell this turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. And a Basilisk Collar. I was wondering if this one would be here. That dog artwork is pretty iconic. Artifact equipment for one. Equip creature has death touch and lifelink equip for two. And Maskwood Nexus. Artifact for four. Creatures you control are every creature type. The same is true for creature spells you control and creature cards you own that aren't on the battlefield. And for three, tap, create a 2-2 two, two blue shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Vanquisher's Banner, this is another tribal type card artifact for five. As it enters the battlefield, choose a creature type, creatures you control of the chosen type, get plus one, plus one. Whenever you cast a creature spell of the chosen type, draw a card. Animal Sanctuary, a land, tap for colors for two, tap, put a plus one, plus one counter on target, bird, cat, dog, Goat, Ox, or Snake. That is a well-suited one for this deck. We have Canopy, Vista, Land, Forest, Plains. Tap for green or white. Enters tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Mountain, Forest here, Cinderglade. Enters tapped unless you control two or more basic lands. Tap for red or green. And Clifftop, Retreat. Enters tapped unless you control a mountain or plains. Tap for red or white. And Fortified Village. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a forest or plains card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield. Tap, tap for green or white. And Game Trail. As it enters the battlefield, you may reveal a mountain or forest card from your hand. If you don't, it enters the battlefield. Tap, tap for red or green. Okay, so we're getting all the lands here. Ooh, we got a Triome. Nice one. Jetmere's Garden. Mountain, Forest, Plains. And these ones are fetchable. Uh, you can tap for... 
red, green, or white. Anticipated field tapped or cycle it for three. Scattered groves. Tap four, green or white. Enters tap, cycle for two. Sheltered thicket. Tap four, red or green. Enters tapped, cycle for two. And a mythic. Brimaz, king of Arescos. Legendary creature, cat soldier. Three, four, for one and two white with vigilance. Whenever it attacks, put a 1-1 one, one white cat soldier creature token with vigilance onto the battlefield attacking. And whenever Brimaz blocks a creature, put a 1-1 one, one white cat soldier creature token with Vigilance onto the battlefield, blocking that creature. Cast out, Enchantment for 3 and a white. Has Flash, when it enters the battlefield, exile target non-land permanent. An opponent controls until cast out leaves the battlefield. Cycle for a single white. And Crib Swap, Tribal Instant Shapeshifter. Has Changeling for 2 and a white. Remove target creature from the game. Its controller puts a 1-1 one, one colorless shapeshifter creature token with Changeling into play. And King of the Pride, Creature Cat, 2-1 for 2 and white. Other cats you control get plus 2, plus 1. Awesome. And Mirror Entity, Creature Shapeshifter has Changeling, 1-1 one, one for 2 and white. And for 8, or not 8, X actually, creatures you control become X, X and gain all creature types until end of turn. So they get the X power and toughness. Alright, next up we have Arescus Explorer, Creature Cat Scout, 2-2 two, two for 1 and white. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for up to X planes cards, where X is the number of players who control more lands. And you reveal those cards, put them in, into your hand, then shuffle. Path to Exile, instant for a single white, remove target creature from the game. Its controller may search his or her library for a basic land card. Put that card into play, tap, then shuffle his or her library. And sets Tiger, Creature Cat, 3-3 three, three with Flash. When it comes into play, you gain protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. And I like the old school bordering on that one. Spirited Companion, Enchantment Creature Dog, 1-1 one, one for 1 and white. When it enters battlefield, draw a card. White Sun's Zenith, instant for X and 3 white. Put X, 2-2 two, two white cat creature tokens onto the battlefield. Shuffle White Sun's Zenith into its owner's library. And White Mane Lion, Creature Cat with Flash 2-2 two, two for 1 and white. When White Mane Lion comes into play, return a creature you control to its owner's hand. Impact Tremors, Enchantment for 1 and red. Whenever a creature enters battlefield under your control, it deals 1 damage to each opponent. Torian Mauler, Creature Shapeshifter 2-2 two, two for 2 and a red with Changeling. Whenever an opponent plays a spell, you may put a plus one, plus one counter on Torian Mauler. Warp World, Sorcery for five and three red. Each player shuffles all permanents he or she owns into his or her library, then reveals that many cards from the top of his or her library. Each player puts all artifact, creature, and land cards revealed this way into play. That's crazy. And then puts all enchantment cards revealed this way into play, then puts the rest on the bottom of his or her library in any order. Beastmaster Ascension Enchantment for two and a green. Whenever a creature you control attacks, you may put a quest counter on Beastmaster Ascension. And as long as Beastmaster Ascension has seven or more quest counters on it, creatures you control get plus five, plus five. And we have Cultivate Sorcery for two and a green. Search your library for up to two basic land cards. Reveal them. Put one onto the full tap and the other into your hand. Then shuffle. Far seek sorcery for one and a green. Search your library for a plains, island, swamp, or mountain. Put it onto the battlefield, tapped, then shuffle. Greater Tanuki, enchantment creature dog, which technically it's like a raccoon dog. 6 5 for four and two green. Trample has channel for two and a green. Discard it. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield, tap, then shuffle. Keeper of Fables, creature cat, 4 5 for three and two green. Whenever one or more non-human creatures you control, deal combat damage to a player, draw a card. Lurking Predators, enchantment for four and two green. Whenever an opponent casts a spell, reveal the top card of your library. If it's a creature card, put it onto the battlefield, otherwise you may put that card on the bottom of your library. And Masked Vandal, creature shapeshifter, one three for one and a green. Has Changeling, when it enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard. If you do, exile target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. 
And we have another one with a nice border here. And the Cattle War Pride, Creature Cat Warrior 3-3. Three, three. So it must be blocked by exactly one creature if able. And whenever it attacks, put X tokens into play tapped and attacking that are copies of Nakata War Pride, where X is the number of creatures defending player controls. Remove the tokens from the game at end of turn. And actually, this one's three and three green for the casting cost. Nature's Law, Sorcery for one and a green. Search your library for a forest card. Put it onto the battlefield, then shuffle. And Timur Sabretooth, Creature Cat, four, three for two and two green. For one and a green, you may return another creature you control to its owner's hand. If you do, Timur, Sabretooth gains indestructible until end of turn. Three visits, nice one. Sorcery for one and a green. Search your library for a forest card. Put that card onto battlefield, then shuffle your library. Fleetfoot Panther, creature cat, three, four, for one, green and white. You may play at any time. You could play an instant, and when it comes into play, return a green or white creature you control to its owner's hand. Arcane Signet, artifact for two, tap to add one mana. Of any color in your commander's color identity and bloodline pretender artifact creature shapeshifter two two for three this one has changeling as it enters battlefield choose a creature type whenever another creature of the chosen type enters battlefield under your control put a plus one plus one counter on bloodline pretender herald's horn another nice reprint artifact for three as it enters battlefield choose a creature type creature spells you cast of the chosen type cost one less to cast and at the beginning of your upkeep Look at the top card of your library. If it's a creature card of the chosen type, you may reveal it and put it into your hand. Oketra's Monument, legendary artifact for three. White creature spells you cast cost one less to cast. So whenever you cast a creature spell, create a 1-1 one, one white warrior creature token with vigilance. Skull Clamp, artifact equipment for one. Equip creature gets plus one, minus one. Whenever a equip creature dies, draw two cards, equip it for one. And Command Tower. So land, tap to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. Okay, so that's the bulk of the deck. Let's go through the rest here. And we got some lands. So we'll go up to the tokens there. I see some fun tokens. We have Exotic Orchard. It's a land, tap to add one mana, or add to your mana pool one mana of any color that a land an opponent controls could produce. Jungle Shrine enters tap, tap for red, green, or white. Crows and Verge enters tap, tap for colors, for two tap. Sack it, search your library for a forest card and plains card. Put them onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. Path of Ancestry, another land enters tap, tap to add to your mana pool one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. And when that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. We've got a root bound crag. Enters tapped unless you control a mountain or forest tap for red or green. Sun Petal Grove enters tapped unless you control a forest or plains tap for green or white. Ooh, and a foil full art plains. Okay, so we've got the dogs here. Okay, just single sided. All right, so is this another foil? Okay, are these all foil? Holy moly, okay, they don't normally do this. Alright, so we've got a bunch of those. Okay, so what was the tally? Ten of those. Okay, and then the mountains. Alright, was not expecting these foils. So mountains, five of those. And then forests, we've got some cats on here. Okay, so seven of those. Alright, and let's go through the tokens up next. So we've got this uh, cute 1-1 one, one dog token here. Some fun artwork on that one. On the other side, we've got a cat, okay? So I'm guessing same thing, yep. Cat Beast 2-2, two, two. these are just regular. And those are probably the only two foil tokens we get here. Shapeshifter, Changeling, 1-1 one, one. on the other side. Cat Beast... And a rat, 1-1 one, one with Death Touch. I remember that card. We've got a 2-2 two, two with Haste Cat on the other side. The rat, all right, cat. And a dog, one, or what is that? 3-1 one with Vigilance. And then we have a 2-2 two, two cat flipping around into a 1-1 one, one Citizen. And a cat with a 3-1 Vigilance dog. Cat, 1-1 one, one Lifelink. 
Dog 3 1 Vigilance. Okay. And then on the back of this cat, we've got a Citizen 1 1. Cat Soldier Vigilance 1 1. And Warrior v Vigilance 1 1. Okay. And same deal. Yep. And a Shapeshifter 2 2. All right. And a rat on the other side of that. Oh, and I guess this is a bonus card. Nine lives. Awesome. Foil enchantment for one and two white. Has hexproof. If a source will deal damage to you, prevent that damage and put an incarnation counter on nine lives. And when there are nine or more incarnation counters on nine lives, exile it. And when it leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. All right. Is this single-sided? Yes, it is. And Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. Awesome. So this is a mythic legendary creature dog. 1-1 one, one for a single white. Whenever another legendary permanent enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one plus one counter on Yoshimaru Ever Faithful. This one has partner. They would never again be parted. And single sided there. Okay, so some fun little bonuses at the end there. Let me know in the comments what you think about this deck. Did you pick it up? Has a bunch of stuff with tokens and, of course, the dog and cat theme. Looks pretty cool, although a bit on the pricey side. Hope everyone's staying safe and healthy out there. Thanks for watching and have a great day.